Welcome to this VPN review video from WizCase.com. In this video, I'll be reviewing ExpressVPN. Here's a quick summary of what I'll be showing you in the video. I'll first be giving you a site overview to explain which features are available with ExpressVPN. Then, I'll go into the ExpressVPN website to install the program onto my computer. Next, I'll give you a rundown or a tutorial of the options contained within the antivirus program. I'll then check out the software by running a virus check to see how the program responds to viruses. Lastly, I'll be giving you my overall opinion of ExpressVPN. Also, wait for the end of the video and we'll show you our trick on how to unblock Netflix. Alright, let's get to it. ExpressVPN has tons of different features such as having a powerful encryption that keeps my computer safe, as well as 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee for those interested in a refund. ExpressVPN is also available in 148 cities and 94 countries, so people can connect from anywhere in the world. So after that quick overview, I'll scroll back up to the top and click Get ExpressVPN here. I'll skip past the Create an Account part, as it is a very easy process to go through. Now here you will find the pricing options available, which are quite affordable. You have the monthly plan, the 15-month plan, which includes three free months, and the six-month plan. I will choose the monthly plan for the purpose of this video. Before downloading ExpressVPN, be sure to go to whizcase.com to see more expert reviews and other great deals on software. So now I'm going to download ExpressVPN to my computer. So after purchasing the software, you'll be asked if you would like to change the password on your account. After that, you'll be taken to this page to download the software. You must copy your activation code so you can input it during the installation. Then, you will click the install button. After it fully downloads, you'll then click the download to begin the installation. After the installation's been completed, you'll then click the Setup ExpressVPN button. If the installation fails, such as mine did, you will then be prompted to reboot your computer. Now after I rebooted my computer, as you can see here on my desktop, you will find the icon for ExpressVPN. You're going to double-click it to open up the ExpressVPC pane. You'll see a button to press in order to secure your connection with ExpressVPN. When the button turns green, it means the VPN is now working. To find what options you have available to toggle the software, you will click here, then select Options. You'll find Protocol Options, where you'll find several options you can choose from to run ExpressVPN on your computer. The automatic option is recommended as it picks the protocol most appropriate for your network. You'll find the general settings, which are self-explanatory. You can log out of your account here. You even have the option to control your VPN connection directly from whatever browser you choose, and you'll find advanced options available. These options are for the DNS, network settings, etc. So now I'm going to run a speed test using ExpressVPN. In order to do that, I'll have to turn the VPN off by clicking the green button again. I will then go to the menu options and select Speed Test. I'll run the speed test for the Americas, since that is where I am from, then hit Run Test. It will take a couple minutes for all of the results to download. After it is finished, you can gauge the speed by the speed index and latency. A higher speed index is better than a lower speed index, whereas lower latency is better than higher latency. Now I'll go to speedtest.net to run a speed test. Then I'll hit the Go button. The results of this test was before the VPN was turned on. Now let's see it with the VPN on. You'll see here that the results changed a bit with the VPN turned on as opposed to it being turned off. Usually, a VPN will slow down your internet. Don't be afraid if it does, as this is totally normal. The results are quite surprising. Don't assume that having your VPN active means faster internet speed. It rarely happens. But, when it does, it is a nice surprise. One reason might be that your ISP is throttling your internet speed, thereby making it slower than it should be. If anything, this does show how great ExpressVPN is. Next, I'll contact customer support to find out how long it takes to receive a response. So I'll click the Menu Options button, then go down to Help and Support. A sub-menu should open up, then you'll select Contact Support. The question window should open up, and since I purchased the software for the purpose of this video, I will type this in. I would like to receive a refund. How long does it take to process, and how soon will I receive my funds back? You want to be as specific as possible when contacting customer support. I will then click Send to Support. Now, here, as you can see, I automatically received a pop-up that says Support will respond to your registered email within a few hours. Click OK. Now, I'll check my email to see if I have received a reply from ExpressVPN. So I received an automated email stating that they will try to respond within 24 hours. I'd say within 24 hours is a good amount of time to get a response. 
All right, so five minutes passed, and I received the response from customer support. The email states my cancel request has been forwarded to their billing support. It says that the payment has been authorized, but has not been collected. But if it just so happens to go through, that I should expect a refund within five to seven business days. So based on all the features available through ExpressVPN, I would say the most phenomenal part is their customer support. To be able to receive a response within five minutes of contacting them is very impressive. Also, I had two questions for customer support that were both answered completely instead of just a generalized answer. Now, I'll show you how to unblock Netflix using ExpressVPN. Now on Netflix, when I search for This Is Us The Show, it doesn't come up since it is unavailable to us in the US. The way to solve this problem is by closing the VPN, then closing Netflix. Open a new tab and go to Settings, then Clear Browsing Data. Check the box that says Cookies, then select the last 24 hours and click the Clear Data button. Then open the VPN, choose another country for your server, and connect it again. Now go back to Netflix, type in This Is Us once again, and as you can see the show is now available to watch. So in conclusion, I would say ExpressVPN is more than worth it for its features, and at such an affordable price, why would anyone pass it up? That completes this VPN review. Be sure to check out whizcase.com for updated reviews from this previous week. If you want to like this video, please hit like, share, subscribe, and put some comments down below.